Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have one of my longest friends and clients here today with me, Maya Henry. I've been doing her makeup since she was 15 years old and she's, yeah, I think you're almost turning 21. Mm -hmm. I wanted to show you guys a really beautiful winged out straight cat eyeliner and I just wanted to keep the skin super natural and super dewy. I feel like you've been doing wearing your makeup super natural these days. Mm -hmm. um, she just came back from London, so. If you guys like my videos, please subscribe and let's get started. So I think the makeup that you have been doing on yourself or that I've, like, I've seen on your Instagram is very natural. You always do like, you love like a, a wing, but I love a straight wing. Do you like a, a straight wing or, or do you like it to go up? Mm, I think for my eye shape, it's maybe better a little like straighter. Okay. Yeah, I think one of my favorite looks that I've done on you it was, you, you wore this like Versace outfit mm -hmm. and your hair was like in like a yeah, like slick back ponytail. Funny. It probably hurt you so bad. Danielle oh, Priano, that. Danielle Priano did that. Um, but I think we did like a really, really, really like dramatic like straight wing and that was like mm -hmm. probably like my favorite look on you. Really? I love, yeah, I liked it. Maybe a little thinner, like a thinner wing. Thinner wing, she's like, oh, don't do, don't do, Not don't like do too thick. thick. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just putting a little bit of this P. Louise eyeshadow base all across your eyes. So I'm gonna put a little bit of my lip balm. I'm using She's Juicy. I need to give you all my makeup. I haven't been able to like give you like all of my new launches in, in, in such a long time. I know. Is it nice? I want it all. Do you like it? Yeah. Mm. It's like, mm, good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna do her eyes first and I'm gonna put a little bit of foundation onto the eyes before I start the eyeshadow. So the foundation that I'm gonna be using today is this Makeup Forever. I've been obsessed with creams lately, so this comes in like a half cream, half blush. Like I think you can get an all foundation one, but I'm using the lightest shade in here. Do you feel like cream foundation just makes your, your makeup look more natural or more? I like, yeah, because it's like a lot of, lot of coverage because if I have like breakouts, but it's also Like it still looks dewy, natural, yeah. yeah. So I'm putting a little bit of the foundation just right onto the eyes before I start the eyeshadow. Okay, and then I'm gonna put some eye patches on. So I'm gonna put the Turn Up The Base powder foundation. So this is my friend Patrick Stars. But I'm putting this just right onto the lids just to kind of set the eyes before I do the eyeshadow. Just so like you have a really nice even blend when you are applying like the powder eyeshadow. Have you seen my, my new eyeshadow palette? I saw it on Instagram. I want it. <laughs> so I just launched this, I think like last week, but it's like all like super like warm tone neutrals. I feel like it's like your perfect every day. I'm gonna use the color Transition on you because it's like a really beautiful transition shade. I'm using this Morphe X Ariel brush. So we met five years ago and it was for your quinceanera. And I remember getting a call from my agent and saying, do you want to go to Texas to um, <laughs> to do this girl, my Henry's makeup for her 15th birthday? I was like, wait, what? But I ended up going to Austin, Texas. It was my first time to Austin, Texas. It was and, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! To <laughs> to San Antonio for the job, and I, I I flew to New York after. But I remember I, I was doing your makeup, and you were so quiet, and you were so like polite, and. I asked you like what kind of makeup look you wanted to do. You're like, uh, I don't know, I don't care. <laughs> and I was like, what? Um, but like, what do you like? And I and you're just, just like, do whatever you want. You always have been so chill about like everything. But then after, when I when I showed you your makeup in the mirror, you're like, oh cool, thanks. <laughs> I was like. Wait, did did I do a bad job? Was like, was it? Was, oh no, I loved it. Was 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 it okay? I was like so shocked. I was like, wait, she just flew me out to Texas, and she was just like, okay, thanks, bye. <laughs> I'm just not very picky when it comes to makeup. I'm you're, like, I, yeah. You get your makeup done by the best of the best. What do you mean you're not picky? Yes, well, you I'm are. Like, I just always think it like looks good. I'm like, I don't know. I just always think I look good. <laughs> No, it's like the makeup always looks good. Like. <laughs> so the reason why I created this palette is because I wanted an eyeshadow palette that everybody could use every single day. And I think if you're going to invest in a eyeshadow palette, I want you to be able to use it every day. So the colors are basically like your everyday colors. Did you have like your mattes, your shimmers? I feel like this one is used, so it's not the best impression of the first time seeing it. Can we, can, can I get a new one? So so. 
I, I can have Maya's actual reactions. She's like, what the hell is that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Ask like, what's your, what's your favorite look? Or what's your favorite like type of makeup to see on Maya? So my favorite one is actually referenced a lot when she does shoots or when people are doing her makeup. They love the look you did. It was the Dolce & Gabbana lace. Oh, it's like, it was, a, it was like a clean makeup with like a wing and it was like a pinkish lip. It was when Danielle had like the ponytail. Snatch pony. Hmm. UK to Texas again. Yeah, I was in Texas. That's was that wasn't that the Versace one or was that was, no, was it different? It was I wonder if I can find a picture. I'm gonna link all like these photos of Maya that I've done in the past five years right here. <laughs> There's gonna be so many of them. So now I'm gonna add this cream, this like dark brown cream eyeshadow, just like right onto the lash line, this is in the shade Woman. And I'm putting the cream literally just right onto the lash line to build like a little bit of depth. And the reason why I love creams lately is because instead of like using a pencil liner, because a lot of people will base their, their eyeshadow with like a pencil liner first, just to add depth and like dimension. But by using the cream, I feel like, it, it, like you can have a really nice soft blend, but also pack on like pigment after. So this is a brand new one. Like That's so pretty. It fits so much prettier than that one, right? <laughs> this is a brand new one. I don't know if those were cream shadows, so I thought it was like eyebrow. Um, yeah, they're cream, they're cream eyeshadows. I love it. Okay. So I'm just gonna do that as basically the eyeshadow. Nothing too crazy. Um, I really want the eyeliner to be like the focal point of today's look. So I'm just putting, I'm just, I just based the eyes with a little bit of the cream and the powder. And I'll put, actually, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little bit of the shade Scandal. This is our, our, our deepest brown. And I'm using the A18 brush from the Ariel collab, just right onto the lash line, because I want the, the eyeliner to be like a diffused cat eye. So I'm gonna be using the Ingla gel liner with their Dura line. The reason why I like to put a little bit of Dura line inside, if you ever have your eyeliner like dry out, even though this is like brand new, like I still feel like by putting it in, it makes like the, the application so much easier to apply. But I'm using this little like eyeliner brush that I found on TikTok. But it's so good. Um, it's by this brand, Mellow Pop. It makes, like, it allows you to apply eyeliner so, like, just super thin. Whenever I do eyeliner. All right, so I'm gonna put um, a little bit of, this is the Radiant Creamy Concealer Color Corrector. This is in the lightest shade. I'm putting it just a little bit right underneath your eyes. Not saying you have dark eyes, Maya, but I'm just, I'm <laughs> 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 I really feel like they do a little something, but I'm gonna put this just right un underneath the eyes. I like to put it on and then go ahead and put on the foundation after. Are you working on anything right now? Um, I'm actually just finishing up college right now. You're going to college? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah. I need to go to college. I need to go to college. <laughs> I think you're fine now. <laughs> <laughs> this is my um, cream cream and powder contour. I'm using the shade She's Statuesque. It's our lightest shade. I'm going to actually contour first just so I can build the frame of the face and just bring dimension to the face first. And I think by applying the cream contour before applying foundation, it allows the whole entire look to be a bit more natural. But so we can like go over it with foundation and just have like little bits and parts like pop out where, where we want it. And I'm using my contour brush. This is like for cream contour I love like because like one side is a little bit fluffier. So I kind of use that to fan towards the center of the face. And then I'll go in with a little bit more product towards like the center of the brush. So now I'm going to apply foundation. So I'm using the Makeup Forever foundation and I just like to mix a couple colors together just so um, I feel like there's never the perfect color in um, palettes. So I'm just gonna go now and kind of blend the foundation into the contour. 
I'm gonna be using two different colors from the NARS Creamy Concealer, Vanilla and Chantilly. Um, what do you normally use? I think I use vanilla. Vanilla? So I'm gonna mix the two together and I'm just gonna put this just right underneath the eyes. I'm gonna put a little bit just right underneath the lips too, right underneath the chin and a little bit right underneath the nose. And then I'm gonna use, this is the Soft Matte Complete Concealer and it comes in a little pot. I'm gonna put this just like right down the bridge of the nose. So now I'm just gonna take, so this is the 785 brush and I'm just gonna slowly just blend the concealer into the rest of the foundation. I like to blend the concealer into the foundation before I like use a beauty blender just cause I feel like I can be a bit more precise on where I'm blending and then I'm gonna go ahead and push it all into the skin after. So I'm gonna leave the bridge of the nose just for a little bit and then I'm gonna add a little bit of the cream contour to each side. And then I'm just gonna take the 765 brush and just blend this up into, I like, I like kind of blending this into the highlight towards the center and I, I wanna keep the center as straight and as like bright as possible. All right, so I'm just gonna push the foundation, make the concealer just like right underneath the eyes so it doesn't crease and then I'm gonna do a little bit of baking just so I can really have a nice, bright, clean under eye. Do you bake anymore or no? I love baking. You do? Mm -hmm. um, so I'm using the Dragon Beauty in translucent pink and I am going to be using the Makeup by Ariel Morphe sponge. I always like to put it onto the back of my palm first and kind of press it into the sponge and then I'm just gonna press this underneath the eyes. And then I'm gonna take this sponge. This has like a little nice like flat line. So I'm gonna dip it right into the powder and put this just like right down the center of the nose. So the best way for your makeup to look as natural as possible is if you do if, if you ever do have an, any breakouts, I mean she doesn't have that many, but is by applying a really thin layer of foundation. <laughs> 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 applying a really thin layer of like foundation and then you can go in with like a little cream concealer and just like put it in like any area that you want a little bit more coverage. She's like, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna take a little bit of that powder and this powder has a lot of coverage, so I don't wanna put too much, but I'm just gonna kinda of powder it where I want. I know you're probably not used to wearing so much powder, but I'm gonna go ahead and spray you after so you don't look powdery. powdery. I wanna put a little bit of this powder just like right into the crease too, just in the center, just so I can have like a really nice bright inner corner. It's not too much coverage and it just like kind of brightens the inner, like the inner corner of the eyes. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of bronzer now. So I'm now I'm gonna, I'm gonna be using the, um, the powder part of my cream contour. So the, the reason why I created this product is because I love layering different textures. So we use the cream first, but now the cream is contour and now just to powder, I'm, I'm gonna use the powder bronzer just to kind of warm up her skin just a little bit. I'm just gonna go in pressing motion, just like right into like the hollows of the cheekbones, the halo of the forehead, and right underneath the chin. And then I'm just gonna take my blender, kind of just press everything into the skin so like the powder can have a really um, good chance of just melting into the skin and melting and blending in with, in with the rest of the products. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of blush. So I'm gonna be using two different shades. I'm using um, She's Passionate and She's So LA. I'm using She's So LA first, just because it's like a really nice like bronzy, sun-kissed color, but I'm gonna top it with a pink. But I'm gonna apply this just like right onto the apples of the cheeks. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of She's Passionate. This is a really nice pink blush. And then I'm just gonna press it in with a little beauty blender. So I'm gonna use like a secret blush that I'm um, creating right now, but I don't want to show it, but it's like a really like, this is just, I like to kind of put this just like right underneath the eyes. Just a little wash. It'll come out soon. All 
I'm not, I'm not gonna apply any of the cream today just because I want, um, I want to um, have it semi matte, but then have it like have her natural like like oils like come like kind of come out by spraying it. So, but what, what I am gonna do is kind of carve just right underneath the jawline. I mean, the the I, what, I, what I am gonna do is just carve right underneath the cheekbone, just so it snatches you in a little bit. And I'm gonna let that sit just for like maybe like two minutes, but I'm gonna go off and finish off the eyes now. So what I'm gonna do is just curl the eyelashes. Will you actually curl your eyelashes for me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna use this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this. So now for brows, I'm gonna use my major brow in the color clear. And I'm just gonna spray a little bit of my Dewy Milk Mist into the pan and that just to activate the product. And then I'm gonna take my spoolie and apply this just right to your brows. So I love the look of like feather brows. I mean, you have such beautiful brows without even having to wax them. So you are very lucky. So I like to use two products. I like, I like to use like a brow gel and I like to use the wax, just because I feel like the wax like allows the brows to be like a little bit thicker. Then the then the gel will kind of kind of do a little extra 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 hold. So I'm gonna put a little bit of brow gel on as well. So before I finish off the brows, I'm just gonna set the face with a little bit of the dewy milk mist. I'm just gonna spray this just like right onto the perimeter. Isn't the the spray so 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 fine. Yeah, and it smells so good. <laughs> I don't know. You had a mist. Is it supposed to be like a setting spray, kind of? Yeah. It's nice, right? Huh? Mm -hmm. I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the eyebrows now. So what I'm doing is I'm using this Glossier um, brow pen, and I'm just uh, drawing little like hair strokes just right into the eyebrows just to kind of elongate and lengthen Maya's eyebrows. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take a little bit of my hiding mist in the shade Look At Her and I'll put a little bit onto the back of my palm. And I'm using a really small brush. I'm just gonna use this to draw right down the bridge of the nose. Just so we have a little nice bright pop right there and a little bit just right onto the tip as well. And then I want to do is take a little bit of this and put it just like right into, on, on, on the peak of the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna put a little bit onto the sponge and just put it just right onto the high points of the cheekbones. You see? Wow. Thanks for glowing. So I'm gonna put a little bit of She's Humble right onto your lips. So I'm using She's Humble. This is our lightest lip liner shade and it's like a, I feel like it's like the perfect pinky lip liner. <laughs> So I'm putting a little bit of She's Proud, right? <laughs> um, right on top of... <laughs> Why are you giving me that? Because she's laughing. <laughs> okay. Stop. I see you're trying to not laugh. It's not funny, it's not funny. <laughs> I guess I'm sorry. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of sheets unapologetic, just like right in the center. And then I wanna use my black eyeliner, just right onto the waterline. I just came out with these and I'm so proud of them just because like the way that they apply, they're super creamy and it's like super, super, super black. And I'm gonna put 
put it a little bit just right into the inner corner of the waterline as well. I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara and then. Do you, do you like that liner? Yeah, I do. It's like I, like, I like it in the waterline. Do you normally do do the waterline? Um, I do sometimes if I'm like going out. Yeah. If it's like nighttime. Wait, so I, I want to show you um, your finished look. What do you think? I love it. It's very, it's it's very different for you. I feel like you're so used to. It's like wearing, a variation of like. Yeah, it's a variation what of what you normally wear, but a little bit more evil. Yeah, it's like evil Maya. <laughs> I hope that you guys love this video. Please let me know in the comment section below. Maya, thank you so much for filming a video with me. Thanks for having me. I think it's like it was, it's your first like makeup YouTube, right? Mm-hmm. I feel really special. This glam session has been long overdue. I feel like your face honestly wears makeup so well. I'm so happy with today's look. Me too. And if you guys love this video, please let us know in the comment section below. And let me know what other videos and what other makeup styles that you want me to recreate. Make sure to follow us both um, at Maya Henry and at Patrick Ta on Instagram. And I will see you guys next week.